The recycle bin. It is often the last stop for empty containers, but for papers, plastics, cardboards, and cans, it can mark the beginning of a journey thousands of kilometers long. As long as people throw their trash, we have a job. Yehenyu Getchu manages a recycling center outside of Washington, D.C. We do about 35 tons of uh, material an hour. How exactly does a facility process more than 30 metric tons of waste every hour? First, what happens is the dump trucks bring the materials to our site and uh, they dump it on the tipping floor. It goes to the first screen where the cardboard and the rest of material is sorted out. The rest of the material goes to another belt, which takes the glass and plastic to the last screen. The glass gets crushed, the plastic gets flattened, and then it comes to still another sorter. This is a very sophisticated sorting machine, and that belt brings it down to the bunker, and the plastic goes to the bunker. From the bunker, we put it to the baler, and it gets belt and it gets shipped out. Area recycling programs often require residents to separate plastics, papers, and glass. Getshu says this facility sorts all recyclables on site. Since they don't have to sort out their recyclables anymore, it has made their life very easy. They throw everything in a box and then they sort everything out here. Getshu says this facility ships most of its plastics to a processing plant in North Carolina, more than 500 kilometers to the south, where bales of bottles become piles of plastic, ready to melt and mold into something new. We'll pack our bags and see you there soon. From the Prince George's County Recycling Center, Arash Arabasadi for VOA News.